Today, you're going to watch me build a sales page for an AI app so that you can learn how to build a sales page if you decide to build an AI app and also just to how to build landing pages and web pages in general. Now, we're going to use two tools to do this for us. The first one is card. Now, I've thought about using other tools like Framer AI. I also thought about using something like Squarespace, but card is one of the simplest website builders. And when I actually went to just mess around building a landing page, I found myself going back to card. Now, we've made a review on card. So if you want to learn more about that, then click the link in the description. And also, if you're thinking about building an AI app, then check out our course on this. We have several courses, how to use the different tools that you're going to need to build AI apps like Bubble. You'll learn how to use Webflow, and you'll also learn how to connect this to OpenAI's API. Now, the other tool that I'm going to use today is one you're probably familiar with, and it's ChatGPT. I'm going to start here because I said this, I put this in as a prompt. I want to create a sales page for my app called French Writing AI. It's an app that gives feedback on people's writing through AI. People write in French, it corrects this French, and then it gives some more example sentences. And that's it for it to come up with a headline, images, copy, and more. Now, we're not going to maximize this in terms of coming up with a perfect copy, the perfect headline, perfect images. But I thought we could just use this as like a starting point and see where it gets us. So firstly, it talks about the headline. A compelling headline should be catchy, informative, and relevant. Here's a suggestion. I'm just going to use this. Master French writing with AI, instant corrections, enhanced learning. Now it also says we're going to create some images. I'm going to see the first image that I created soon and why we need to make some corrections with it. And then it just came up with some copy as well. Should be informative, persuasive, easy to understand. Here's a basic structure. We have testimonials, reviews, and a call to action. Now, additional features um, in terms of the, what you can add to the copy as well. It just has something there. Now, take a look at the image that it created. Firstly, um, it's hard to read. It doesn't look very French in the places where it should be French. And I think it's just struggling at times to come up with good text. So we're not going to do that instead. We're going to ask it to, um, can you create a typical French scene, okay? That means it's going to be something like the Eiffel Tower, probably, people eating in a cafe somewhere in, in Paris. But this is going to get people's attention because it's something to do with French. Now, obviously, other countries speak French as well, but most people want to learn French from France, and it's given us exactly what I thought it might give us. Beautiful, actually. I really like this. So it's given us this as a, the typical French C. Now, I forgot to say, because the first image is in this mode, and we can change that. I'm just going to ask it to go back to this and say, can you make it um, vertical? And then it's going to do something similar as well. But I think this is obviously, this is what people aspire when they're learning French, to do something like this. So while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is just go back up here and go back, copy the headline, and go back to card. And I'm not going to go through all of this with you, but what we're going to do is change the text to that, okay? So great, we've got the text in already. Then we're going to use, um, I'm going to ask for this bit, which is kind of like the subhead in here, and copy this in, and then the buttons here. Now, when you're doing buttons in card or other websites, you're gonna to have to do a few things in terms of what the button is gonna do. Luckily, it has this here, so the URL here to get it. Let's just say that it's gonna be downloaded on the App Store. What we can do is put the URL to go to the App Store in here, and then the text here is get the app now, okay? And then, we're going to go back to chat GBT, see what's come up with. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to download this and then upload it. Okay, so now that is uploaded. I quite like the look of this already. It just has this basic introduction to a kind of a sales page that we can use. And this was all we did was take AI chat GPT, told it a little bit about what we wanted, and then it came up with this. Um, a couple of things here. If you ever want to delete something, you can delete it there. 
And then obviously with this, we might want to change the style. I want to make it a little bit bigger in terms of the font. So we'll make the font bigger like that. Um, and then make it a little bit weightier as well. I mean, you can fiddle with this all day, change the colors, etc. But let's say right now, this is looking pretty good. Now, as we scroll down, what we have here are the main features here as well. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but basically what you can do, if we go back to this, is when we go back to when it talks about the images um, or the copy features, it has three features there. Usually things are done in three um, when it comes to these types of things. So all we need to do is copy this into these areas here and then add the pictures as well. But what you're doing here is you're trying to persuade people to download this app. You tell them more features because when they get to this point, they might not think, okay, this is what I want to do. This is, I want to get the app now. They might need to be sold on this a little bit more. And then in this feature here, what we can do is make a copy and then simply drag this down to where we want to put it, which is down there. And then we can click on this one, delete it. So you can make copy of different things. Let's say you want to put that picture somewhere else as well. You can put it there too. So again, get the app now. And then this part of it is a little bit more about the features again. You might want to go into more depth about how it works, create this up here and could change that copy as well. And then what we have here is pricing. So maybe it's just one price at the moment. You might not want to add the price in here at all because most apps on the app store have in-app purchases. So that's something that you want to do instead. If it's a kind of a web app, then you might have different tiers in terms of the app and how to create that. And then from here, what we need to do is add in any kind of legal stuff you want to add in and then add your icons in terms of your social media there as well. Now, I estimate that if I did all of this, did the copy and paste in, it would probably take about 10 minutes in total. And a lot of the time, people just have this. It's a landing page just with this section here with some legal terms at the bottom. But all they're doing is showing the main thing, get the app now, it's a decision. Sometimes the, sometimes the most simple one is the best one. So I think that really covers how we can use ChatGPT and how we can use Card to create a landing page for an app that you can sell on your website, on the App Store or elsewhere. Now, what I recommend doing is checking out some of our other videos about watching us create landing pages, create websites, create different types of apps. I'll leave a link to the playlist for that. Now, if you want to go into depth in this type of thing, then definitely check out our website where we go through how to create apps, how to create things like Zillow clones, Airbnb clones, different types of clones by creating those types of apps inside of Bubble. We have courses on Figma, on Webflow, lots of other things, A, how to create AI apps. So if you're thinking about doing this type of work, then definitely check out one of our courses. I think you'll really enjoy them. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.